Hello, this is Bosco, and I'm back with more thrift store toy finds for my toy photography. Uh, first, I would like to mention in my last video, I showed you this Hot Wheels Avalanche car. On the package, it was marked 2013, but the strange thing was when I opened the car, when I opened up the package and took the car out, it is actually dated, and I, let's see if the camera can pick that up, 2003. So I'm wondering why there's a 2003 car in a 2013 package, because all my other cars I opened up, that had the different dates of 2013, 2014, were all corresponding to uh, the dates with the dates on the bottom of the car. So I thought that was kind of strange. And then the other thing I forgot to mention is that I was watching the video that Ivan did with the Mutant Mania and also these figures that he found at the 99 cent store because I ran out and I got a whole bunch of this stuff. And I had actually picked up two of them and forgot to show what I had received. So the first one that I received was, I guess, he's a Green Beret, I guess. And so I'll do a close-up of him. There he is. He has his little weapon. And that is actually kind of cool. And he is actually a common uh, figure. Then the Red Ninja, which is one that Ivan got as well. This is a rare figure, which was pretty cool. So those are the two that I got. Now on with the thrift store finds. Uh, the first thrift store that I went to is a kind of a small high-end thrift store. And it's a Lutheran thrift store that does a really good job of getting um, donations, cleaning the stuff up, making sure it's all there, if it's like toys, like a play set, and they they put prices on them, uh, maybe a little bit more than what a uh, regular thrift store would do, but still, it was actually a really cool place to go to. And I got a few bags of toys, the first one that I got is this 2002 Captain America, uh, it's like a 97 Corvette. And let me try to get that in focus for you so you can see the side uh, detail art there. And it is from Maisto, and let's see if I can get the bot, there we go. Maisto, 97 Corvette. And I thought that was just a really cool car to get. And it came with another car for uh, 99 cents. So I thought that was really kind of cool. The next car is a 1969 The Demon from Hot Wheels. And actually I'll show you the top first. The top has got this great flame artwork. And you can see like I guess that's supposed to be The Demon. Not only is the car the demon, but it's got like a demon decal on the top. It's got flames on the side. On the other side. And it has like a um, little marking at the top. I'm not sh quite sure what that is. but And then the motor's kind of cool sticking out. But it's another great car. The next car that came with it is a... I think this is from McDonald's. It's actually supposed to light up and the... Uh, I've been switching it and it doesn't go on. The, the battery's dead. But um, I think it is a nitrium car. As you can see, it's purple at the top. Pretty cool car. And then the last car that I got is this Toyota race car. Um, it's a 2007 car, of course, because uh, on the side it says 2007. It has a bunch of different decals. If the camera will focus, there we go has all those different decals and on the top it does say 2007 um, other than uh, 2007 it just says made in China so that's the only 
Uh, I don't know anything else about that car. And then, as far as like action figures that I got from that place, I'm pretty sure this is the Imaginex Caveman, or one of the cavemen. And I actually think this guy is really cool. I bought it. I bought the little bag just for this guy. And then he came with this dinosaur. I don't know if this is a dinosaur that comes with the figure or with a different Imaginex figure or if it's just a just a dinosaur. But I think the guy is cool. That's why I got the little bag of toy for uh, both of these. Came with like a this other little whistle toy for like ninety nine cents. And then the other thing I got is another Maisto car. And then this is a Spider-Man. Let me get the... Actually, turn it right away. Another Maisto car. And it is a... Uh, it's a cruiser. And uh, it's a panel cruiser, actually. But I think... I just think this has got... Great artwork, if the camera will focus. It's probably focusing on those books I have in the back, but there we go. So you can see the artwork on this side. And the doors do open up on either side, they, or on both sides they open up. And then it's got a Spider-Man logo at the top. It does have, it looks like crayon markings. I tried getting them off, and they, they're just not coming off. And it says Chrysler on the license plate. And, um, it, uh, there we go, Chrysler on the license plate. Another cool little car that I got. Uh, I did get, uh, I went to another thrift store. And I got, it was just a random bag of toys. Uh, like, uh, it was probably half some toys. And then, like, a good part of it was, like, McDonald's type of Happy Meal toys. But this is the um, 2010 Shrek Forever Three Little Pigs. It's supposed to make uh, their voices and noises and uh, batteries dead. Tried opening it up and it's just like if you pry it open, it's going to crack it. So I didn't want to do that. Uh, the next thing here are Rainforest Cafe. They're called Cha Cha Tree Frogs. And they do have articulation in both arms and both legs. And I'll just show you the back really quick. Uh, pretty cool. Next thing is uh, another broken, or actually I don't want to say broken, it's just the battery's dead. Uh, and this is from that uh, chipwrecked uh, movie. Uh, Simon. It's supposed to make like kissy noises. I actually looked this up on YouTube and it was actually kind of annoying. So I'm actually kind of glad this doesn't work. Uh, the next one is a 2010, this is an Alexander figure from McDonald's. It's Hansel, and he's actually, I don't know, uh, I think he's supposed to come with Gretel, or they come separate, but they, they do come as a set. Um, and his, if you touch his eyes, they do blink. If the camera's picking that up, you can see that he has blinking eyes. The next toy, which I actually think is just cool from the way it, it looks, uh, it does light up, actually. This is actually the one toy that actually is working. Uh, well, actually, it, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to press the, the horn in the back. There we go. He lights up. It's just a really cool Skylander figure um, from the, uh, I think he's called the Eruptor from 2014. And the next thing is, I got another Pokemon, uh, black and white figure, 2012, uh, Pig Knight. Another cool little figure. And the next thing is, good lord, a, another McDonald's toy. Uh, this is like an NFL rush zone. It's supposed to come with a football where I think you can launch it because his, his arms have got kind of got this throwing, throwing motion. So... Just another incomplete uh, McDonald's toy. This next one is a rescue hero. Uh, his name is Smokey. And this bracket at the top is supposed to have an extending ladder. So, uh, Twisted or any of the other uh, traders uh, or hunters on here, if you have that ladder, 
or if you want it or if you want to trade for it or just something just leave a comment um, or uh, you know we can make a trade but it's a pretty cool dog uh, it just I just wish he had that extension ladder then uh, next few things are just pretty simple I got a, a bake uh, Smurf his name is or Baker Baker Smurf and then I got this Christmas Garfield car. It's not a McDonald's toy, I don't think, because it's not Mark McDonald's like the other ones are. But he does have some kind of rolling little motion and the Christmas hat on. And I actually might use him for a Christmas photo near the end of the year. And then the next thing, I didn't realize that these were a set until I looked them up. Actually, I think they come... It's like six or seven figures with uh, Dora the Explorer, and this is Diego, and I, I, I don't know who the cat's name is. But he is he was actually really, really dirty. Kind of marked up, and he actually cleaned up pretty well, but he does have some paint wear on his leg and butt. And at, at on his bottom. But uh, this is pretty cool. Um, I actually want to actually want to use, since he's got this birthday present, and the birthday hat on. I actually want to use them for this one uh, party birthday photo that I want to do with uh, some other toys along that line. Uh, this next one is a su I, it's a suction cup little figure, and I, I'm pretty sure it's is is it Chuck E. Cheese? I I, I don't know because it's not marked uh, for anything uh, any kind of. Uh, I, I, actually, it is, but it's so hard to make out, but. Uh, he still, I clean him up and he actually sticks pretty well. The next thing is, I'm pretty sure this is Thumper. It, all it says is Disney and Indonesia. So he looks like he might be Thumper from Bambi. Um, he actually might be used in a Easter uh, photo that I might be doing for next year. This next one is uh, Princess Peach, which I actually got for free because it was just sitting all by herself on this one shelf. I said, uh, you know, it, it, it was just sitting by by herself, and they just said, go ahead, just take it. So pretty cool because it goes with my other uh, Nintendo type of toys where I want to do this one group photo of Nintendo toys. Now, this next one, I had no idea what this was. Uh, until actually I got home and then I kind of really wondered what the hell it was and then I watched one of Twisted uh, earlier videos because I was trying to figure out what that plug was because it says innovations at, on the bottom and after watching Twisted's uh, video it's the Pokemons that you plug into a larger toy base and they talk and uh, interact or something like that so twisted if you still have that uh, the base and all the the characters or whatever and you're interested in this and want it I will gladly trade for it or if you want uh, just whatever uh, uh, I have it I don't mean I don't even think I'm gonna use it for a, a toy photo so I'll just keep it or if anybody else wants it that has the devices just let me know the next thing is, I, I don't, uh, all it says is Pumas, and it's got like this logo, and it's a little suction cup toy, probably put it on your uh, car window, something like that. Actually pretty clean, it, it wasn't even dirty at all, so it was actually pretty pretty cool to have something in decent shape that's like a little stuffed animal. This thing here that I got, it's, I have no idea what it is, it's just, uh, it's a it's legs bend. All four legs move, bend, so you can... It's like that one Jake figure from McDonald's. But it's uh, actually another clean little stuffed animal toy. So, uh, the next one, I have no idea what this is either. Uh, it's, it's like a ladybug that's on this green peg. So, is it a Fisher-Price toy? Because uh, I, I don't know. It's not marked anywhere. But it's just this cute little ladybug. Toy. The uh, last toy is this dinosaur. It's really small, as you can see. Uh, Twisted, I know you collect dinosaurs, so if you want to, uh, me to put it in your trade box, I will gladly put it in your little trade box. And then I'll just show you the other side, in case you're kind of curious. 
There we go. A little tiny dinosaur. Now, the next thing, I got this for 99 cents. And actually, let me pan out just a little bit. Actually, I might have to tilt the camera up just a little bit here. This is a shark bubble gun. And it's marked 2005 Disney Pixar. So even though that Finding Nemo is 2003, this was manufactured in 2005, I'm assuming this is Bruce, since it says Disney Pixar. The only thing is, I got this for 99 cents, not knowing if it was going to work or not. It doesn't work. The, I opened up the battery uh, casing here. Batteries were corroded. I did clean up the battery um, connectors. And, uh, but I opened up the entire thing and it looks like, because I had like really bad hot glue gun job inside. I don't know if that was a, the manufacturer or somebody that was just toying around inside. But if someone is good at like soldering, because it looks like it might just need a reconnection of the soldering. Or maybe even a different little fan that's inside. Just let me know. I want to use this for one photo, and then if you want to make a trade for this, um, just let me know. But it is a bubble gun, and you fill it with bubbles on the inside of the mouth because it has a reservoir. And so it's pretty cool. The next thing I got, also for 99 cents, is this Shake and Go Ape from Fisher Price. Now, amazingly, this thing works. And I'll turn it on, and what's supposed to happen is that the child is supposed to shake this. It makes ape noises, and then you, cause when you set it down, it makes the ape noises, and then it just darts off, it takes off. The only thing is, I won't run it in its entirety, because I have a dog, and he goes just banana, <laughs> he goes bananas uh, when this just takes off. So I'll just show you the, the ape noises that it makes. So... Okay, so there's the, the little noises that it makes uh, again. And then the harder you shake it, the longer it goes for. So for 99 cents, that's not bad. I actually got this because I wanted to take a, a photo. Uh, actually, kind of a silly photo because he's riding a banana. But if anyone is interested in this, uh, in the uh, trading uh, circle, let me know. Then the last thing that I have, which I just think this is the coolest thing, and... Actually, if you can look to your left here, this book that says Fantastic Plastic Cameras. I got this camera for $3.99, and this is the VTech Kitty Zoom camera. Now, besides being a toy photographer, I am also a lamographer, and a lamographer takes cheap uh, plastic um, toy type of cameras and it's it's a way to um, challenge yourself to take photos. This is in perfect working condition, and this thing plays games. It takes video, it takes pictures, and then it also has like an, some type of framing editing software inside of it. So like if you're taking a picture of a person, you can put a silly hat on them. You can have. Um, cartoonish type of frames around your subject. The scene is in perfect working condition. And as you can see, it's got two view two viewfinders. So the child is supposed to look at or look through this camera like it's binoculars. And I tested this out. Perfect working order. I'm this is mine because <laughs> I collect can I collect low grade antique uh just oddball cameras and this is a, a way to challenge myself as a photographer so I thought this was the coolest thing for three dollars and ninety nine cents and because you can still this is a fairly new camera and you can find this uh, I think for about 40 45 bucks so it was just uh, I think probably one of my greatest deals that I got uh, while going to this thrift store and that is it uh, for this uh, thrift store hunting finds. Um, I do have a little bit more to show, so uh, until next time, this is Bosco signing